So today we are going to make uh, Chef Boyardee ravioli lasagna. Um, super easy to make. You can see it's got a 15 minute prep time and 30 minutes total. So it really is um, quick and easy and something that the kids will love. And here we have our ingredients all laid out for us. We need two cans of the Chef Boyardee beef ravioli. This is the 15 ounce size can. One cup of frozen leaf spinach. It's still frozen. We're going to be thawing that out in the microwave in a few minutes. One and a half teaspoons of Italian seasoning. One can of diced tomatoes. Um, the 15 or the 14 and a half ounce size. And they need to be drained really, really well. In order to do that, you don't want to just drain them while they're in the can. Once you put them in a bowl, if you see any liquid down at the bottom, you want to get that out too, because otherwise it's going to mess with your recipe a little bit, make it a little too watery. Here we have one cup of low-fat cottage cheese and one cup of shredded cheese Italian blend. So these are all the ingredients we need to make our ravioli lasagna. Okay, next step, we are going to combine these ingredients. So we're going to take our two cans of the beef ravioli and we are going to place them in our microwave safe bowl and there's one oh, make sure all of them come out we need a fork all right so one can Okay, so for our next step, we're going to take our two cans of ravioli, our tomatoes, and our Italian seasoning, and we're going to combine them in a microwave-safe bowl. So here we have our two cans of Chef Boyardee beef ravioli, making sure we get all of them out of the can, and our can of drained tomatoes, and our one and a half teaspoons of Italian seasoning. And we're going to put all of those into our microwave safe bowl and mix them up a little bit. And we're going to cover them and pop them in the microwave. While our ravioli and tomato mixture is in the microwave, about two minutes or at least until it's hot, we're going to combine what was our frozen spinach. Now what I did was I microwaved this for about a minute until it was completely thawed and kind of warm and then drained any of the liquid out. So what we're left with is um, just a pretty much a dry, um, slightly cooked spinach. And we'll put that in our bowl along with our cup of cottage cheese. And then just a little bit of pepper to taste, uh, depending on how much you like or how much your family likes. If you know your kids aren't into pepper, then don't put too much or don't put any, or if you'd rather have some more, then you can. Um, and we're just going to combine this and mix it all up. And the cottage cheese here is kind of taking the place of a, what would, we would use as a ricotta cheese. Um, it's a little bit less expensive, a little bit better for us, and the kids won't know the difference. All right, and what we're going to do now is build our lasagna in layers. So I've taken an 8x8 glass dish and lightly coated it with some nonstick cooking spray. And we're going to start off with our ravioli mixture, um, ravioli tomatoes and Italian spices. We're going to put about half into the dish, um, at least enough so that it covers the bottom. And it's building kind of a layer there. And, oh, this smells good. Next, we are going to take about half of our spinach and cottage cheese mixture and spread that around. Again, so that it get a little bit everywhere. So every bite has some cheesy spinach goodness in it. And then we're going to take our shredded cheese and put about half a cup so that we're building yet another layer. We use up about half of what we had measured out, and then we're just going to repeat. So we'll put the rest of our spin or our um, tomato and ravioli mixture and spread it around. 
and then the rest of our cheese and spinach. And this is a great way to sneak, well, kind of sneak vegetables into kids' diets. Um, when it's mixed in like this, they hardly are even aware that they're eating it. So much less of a fight than if you pulled out, you know, a side dish of spinach and tried to get them to eat it. So we're going to finish off with our cheese on top. And this forms a great bubbly layer when we cook it. And we're going to pop this in the oven that we've preheated at 375. We're going to put it in the oven for about 15 minutes, depending. Um, what you want to watch for is that the cheese on top gets uh, hot and bubbly. And that's when you know it's done. Make sure it's heated all the way through and we'll pop it in now.